Hey, how's it going everyone? Mick Ambrose from All About Tech. Welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about the NWC. Um, my first video, official video of the NWC uh, 19. And uh, one company is already making the most of it and the week hasn't even begun. Uh, just before I get into it, if you want to um, go check out my Twitter, give us a follow. Because um, I, I do post... Um, relevant things in regards to what I cover uh, in, in regards to cryptocurrency and tech and stuff like that um, and and be sure to subscribe to the channel uh, it really does mean a lot to me um, it, it doesn't cost anything but it does help massively um, so without further ado let's get straight into it um, and the company we're going to be talking about today is Xiaomi um, those of you that have that, that have been following following my channel for a while will know that I I absolutely adore uh, Xiaomi as a company. I use various of their products. I have a Mi, Mi Notebook Pro laptop. Um, I used to have the Mi 8. I had the Mi Note 2. I've had a Mi A2. Um, and uh, Sorry, not a Mi A2. I had a, uh, an A1, sorry. Um, and we are talking about Xiaomi today because the NWC has barely even started. Like People are still setting up because like, the week hasn't even begun. And they are already announcing big, big things. And the first thing um, that I want to talk about is the global pricing for the new uh, Mi 9, which is their new uh, flagship. Now, as you can see in this post, this is an official post from um, Xiaomi's Twitter handle. The Mi 9, as you can see by the design, it's got that not quite a teardrop design on the um, on the uh, on the notch, but triple camera setup this time round it's an ai triple camera uh, setup um and the benchmarks for the for, for for this camera setup the benchmarks actually score higher than the xiaomi uh than the xiaomi that is the xiaomi than the apple um 10s max which is absolutely staggering although when it comes to real life performance it it does differ widely because on on the apple side of things uh Apple software beautifies the living hell out of uh, photos, um, as as opposed to different. So it all it all comes down to personal preference on that thing. Nonetheless, both 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 perform extremely well and are really high quality cameras. But what I want to talk about is first the um, the pricing for this. So it starts from four hundred and forty nine euros for the six gigabytes of RAM, sixty four gigs of storage model, and then four hundred and ninety nine euros for the six gigs of RAM and one hundred and twenty eight gigs of storage. Um, and that is extremely competitive. That is a very 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 nice pricing considering what you get for it. Um, I'm just going to turn off the webcam for a second so you can see. Um, the border of the webcam still but as you can see you got a 48 megapixel high resolution camera with AI triple camera flagship um, 16 megapixel uh, ultra wide angle lens uh, with a four centimeter macro photography uh, you've got a 6.39 AMOLED display um, with an improved in-screen fingerprint sensor the um, the Mi 8 didn't have a, uh, an inbuilt fingerprint sensor unless you got the Explorer edition uh, the pro edition um, and it worked well but they've improved it this time around and they're also um, going to be featuring the 7 nanometer um, based uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 uh, CPU which is has it's become so it's become more powerful it's more efficient and absolutely well that is the that is the standard at the moment that is the best smartphone chip on the market um, Although that's not um, included in Apple's chips, because obviously their A series chips are um, are literally just for Apple phones. Um, and then you've got a 20 watt wireless fast charge, which has been rated as the fastest wireless charger on the market. Um, that 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 is officially uh, designed by a smartphone manufacturer. Um, and, and and yeah, you're getting an absolute lot for your money here. Um, Xiaomi have been they they they've been showing their dominance in in the last in the last few years now. And I was telling all of my friends that Xiaomi will go global at some point, and they will take a massive chunk of the market. And that is exactly what is currently happening. Um, 
in the UK now, you can get Xiaomi devices from retailers like Argos, you know, which is a huge, huge uh, retailer. And even uh, with, with places like Carphone Warehouse and things like that, Xiaomi is now popping up and they are getting partnerships with mobile operators to um, to exclusively get these devices into people's hands. So this is the first thing I wanted to talk about. Brilliant, brilliant, um, brilliant looking phone. Um, it's got this um, this this wonderful finish on the on on on, on the rear glass, uh, which is Gorilla Glass Six, I believe, as well as the front um, display using Gorilla Glass Six, um, which it, it reflects two different colours in the light. It it looks absolutely fantastic, but this this phone for this price, if if you think about the Samsung alternatives, the cheaper Samsung you can get. Is seven hundred and nine is 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 around eight hundred pounds. It's seven hundred and fifty or eight hundred pounds. It's going to start in, um, and this you get you're getting a nice big display. You're getting the same processor. You're getting roughly I I think the Galaxy S ten E is coming in a six gigabyte RAM variant. Um, and I think you can go up to eight gigs of RAM. Um, whereas the S ten Plus you can go all the way to twelve gigs of RAM. But you're getting a lot of the same um, equivalent specs for a fraction of the price. So Xiaomi is a company that I've all that I, I, I highly recommend. So make sure you check out this phone if you are in the market for a new device. But what I really want to talk about today is Xiaomi have announced a 5G flagship that will be $599 and that is absolutely astonishing considering that people were going to be paying a premium for 5G flagship for, for to be able to use 5G um, and it is the Mi Mix 3 5G variant they've redone it um, as, as the 5G model and it makes sense because the Mi Mix series has been the the the, the ultimate um, line of of their high-end smartphones and the Mi Mix 3 with the slider with the slider so that you've got a full display there looks absolutely fantastic I'd love to get my hands on one to check out um, so they've literally this is on their uh, official Twitter as well I'll leave a link in the description so slider head in 5G supports 5G networks with the X50 5G modem 2 gigabit per second plus downlink downlink speed um, that's what 5G supports up to. You're you're highly doubtful going to get two gigabit per second. Um, it all depends how close you are to to a 5G mast. But again, sporting the Snapdragon 855, they're updating it from the 845 hybrid calling system. Again, a 6.39 uh, AMOLED full screen display. Obviously, you have got the slider for the front facing cameras, the magnetic slider, which is a lot more durable than say Oppo's um, Find X and the Vivo Nex's motorized uh, options, um, which that I think Xiaomi rated this for like three hundred thousand uh, slides um, of of usage, which you're probably not going to do it do by the time you upgrade to the next phone. Anyway, let me just turn off my webcam again so you can see the uh, the actual stuff here, um, and You've got a ceramic body, 12 megapixel plus 12 megapixel um, dual rear cameras, steady handheld night photography, 24 megapixel plus a 2 megapixel front camera. Um, you're getting an upgraded battery. The normal Mi Mix 3 only had a three a 3200 milliamp hour battery. This one's getting upgraded to 38 milliamp hour uh, battery, which supports quick charge 4. And it's got a dedicated Google Assistant button, which is highly highly um useful unlike samsung's bixby button which all it did was annoy people um i'm not trying to take digs at samsung here but that's my opinion anyway but where it gets really interesting is that um xda developers have released an article stating that xiaomi unveils the 5g Mi mix 3 with qualcomm snapdragon 855 for 599 that is that is an absolute steal for a 5g phone and it's an and it's a flagship from one of the biggest smartphone manufacturers in the world, um, and the smartphone is uh, 
had, well, the, the the normal Mi Mix 3 obviously went into the European markets as well. Xiaomi have a um, a store in London, um, which recently opened the last few, uh, a few months ago. I think it was just before the New Year. Um, but as you can see, if they if they if they can produ produce this phone for five nine nine, um, in terms of five G capabilities, it's gonna it, it could possibly be the cheapest five G flagship you can get your hands on. Um, and it's absolutely astonishing. So the 5G Xiaomi Mi Mix 3 will be available in an onyx black and a sapphire blue. I personally would stick to the black um, for 599. Euro that's in euros as well, not dollars. Um, starting in May, you can get your hands on this in May. The device will be sold through Mi Stores, Mi.com, and official retail channels. Um, the device will be compatible with three. Orange, Sunrise, Telefonica, Telecom Italia, Vodafone, and more. So you've got UK-based um, uh, carriers. You've got uh, European-based carriers, and I imagine that there's there's going to be some US character uh, characters carriers as well that will support this. Um, so so yeah, that's it's basically going to be this. It's going to be the same Mi Mix Three, but with Upgraded specs, upgraded CPU, upgraded battery. Um, a 38 milliamp hour, 3800 milliamp hour battery is is a big is a big upgrade on the 3200 milliamp hour battery I had before. Um, and Xiaomi have also been improving um, the, the 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 software as well, um, the Mi UI um, software as well. And someone that was using the Mi 8 before getting the OnePlus 6T. It was it was a really good um, UI to use. Oxygen OS OS for me is hands down the best skin on top of Android so far. But Xiaomi are really pulling the gun pulling 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 out their their big guns now. Um, and the NWC has barely started. So let me know what you think about these developments. Let me know if you would pick up uh, the Mi Mix Free 5G edition for 599 euros. I think that is an absolute steal for a 5G smartphone. We'll have to wait and see what other manufacturers are going to be unveiling, but the Samsung 5G flagship variant is going to be above a thousand dollars. You're not going to get one below a thousand dollars, in my opinion. They haven't announced it yet, but I don't think you'll get one less than a thousand dollars, which is which is almost double, and you're getting pretty much all the same specs. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. I will be covering more. Um, NWC content that comes out from various different companies um, So make sure you subscribe to the channel Comment down below what you think um, and I'll catch you guys out in the next video. Peace out